Hi, my name is Jane Goodall. I was born on April 3rd, 1934 in London, England. I have no brothers and one sister. My father was Mortimer Goodall and my mother was Jane Goodall. When I was young, I loved animals. One time I dug up some art films and put them under my pillow. Another time I snuck into my grandmother's chicken coop and watched a hen lay an egg. As a young, oh, I stayed for so long my parents thought I was missing. As a young woman, I was living in Africa. One time at a party, I met someone who gave me an interview with Lewis Leakey. That's when I became a primatologist. I most remember for learning the most about chimpanzees than anyone ever did before. I did this by living with the chimps for 50 years. Now I'm 80 years old. Because I love animals, and she loves animals, and chimpanzees are awesome. Hi, my name is Walter Elias Disney. I was born on December 5th, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. I, I have three brothers and one sister. My father was Elias Disney and my mother was Flora Disney. When I was young, I moved a lot. I used, I created characters for my farm animals. As a young man, I, I volunteered to design a Red Cross ambulance um, during World War I. I also lied about my age. I also work with my friend UVI Works. I am also a member for creating Walt Disney, Walt Disney World, Disneyland, cartoons, TV shows, and movies. I died on December 15, 1966 of lung cancer at the age of 65. Because he's a cartoonist and I love what he created. Hi, my name is Helen Keller. I was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. I have two brothers and one sister. My father was Arthur Keller and my mother was Kate Keller. When I was young, I caught a horrible illness and my parents thought I was going to die. But in a few weeks, it was gone. Then I became blind and deaf because of the disease. At dinner time, I always grab other people's food and shove it in my mouth. As a young woman, I got help from a lady named Ann Sullivan. She helped me know what things were. She also gave me a doll because I thought we were playing a game. She gave, she spelled a word in my hand, then I spelled it out in the air. I am mostly remembered for learning how to read, write, and speak while I was finding death. I died on June 1st, 1968 at the age of 88. Because I learned about her last year in class. Hi, my name is Albert Einstein. I was born on March 14, 1879, Ulm, Germany. My parents are Hermann and Pauline Einstein. I have no brothers and one sister of mine who was two years younger than me. When I was young, I got kicked out of school because my teacher said I was a bad example for the whole class. When I was a young man, I soon had to move to the U.S. because a man named Adolf Hitler was killing all the Jewish people. And that was a problem for me because I was Jewish. I am most remembered for winning the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. I died on April 18, 1955, at the age of 76 years old in Princeton, New Jersey. Uh, he had bushy eyebrows and big crazy hair. Hi, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born in 1809 in the United States of America. I was your brothers and one sister. My father was a builder and my mother cooked and cleaned. When I was young, I had to help my dad cut down trees and also like to read, but there was not a lot of books. When I was young, when I was a young man, I liked to draw, but I did not have anything to write with, so I took a stick and held under a fire and used it. I am most remembered for freeing the slaves and was a great present. I died in 1865 at the age of 56. I thought, because his face is on a $5 bill and I like money. Hi, my name is Betsy Ross. I was born January 1st, 1752, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have five brothers and 11 sisters. My father was Selium Griscom. My mother was Rebecca Griscom. When I was young, I was a very busy little girl. I did most of the chores. I made clothes for the whole family. I went to Quaker Public School. There I learned to read, write, do math, and history. When I was a young woman, I married John Ross. We opened up our own sewing shop. We became very successful. I am most remembered for making the first American flag for George Washington. I died on January 30th, 1836, at the age of 84 years old. Because she made the first American flag. My name is Helen Keller. I was born on June 27, 1880 in Alabama. I have two brothers and one sister. My father was Arthur Keller, my mother Kate Keller. When I was young, 
I was deaf and blind. I couldn't see or hear. So I went to Parkin School with Ann Sullivan. She taught me sign language and to soothe my hands. As a young woman, I was learning different things. I was learning sign language with my hands, I mean with my fingers. I was most remembered for doing, every, doing everything everybody thought was not possible. I was able to communicate even though I was deaf and blind. I died on June 1st, 1968 at the age of 87 because she was deaf and blind. Because I just picked um, just a random person. I just, when I just saw her, I just picked her. Hi, my name is George Washington. I was born on February 22nd, 1732 in Virginia. I have five brothers, one sister. My father was Augustine Gus Washington. My mother is Mary Bell Washington. When I was younger, I rode my horse and caught fish. When I was a young man, I grew up to become a soldier and bravely fought with the British. Then I got called to war again and had to fight against the British. I most remember, I most remember for being the first president of the United States of America. I died on 1799 at the age of 63. I don't know, because he was the first president. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Victoria Douglas. I was born December 31st, 1995 in Virginia Beach. I have one brother and two sisters. My father is Timothy Douglas, my mother Natalie Hawks. When I was young, I did gymnastics in the house. I knocked down lots of lamps and bases. My sister taught me how to do a cartwheel when I was three. By the time I was four, I could do a one-handed cartwheel. As a young woman, I competed in the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. I've earned two gold medals. I'm also the first African American to win the women's all around finals. I'm most remembered for being a gymnast because I made history when I became the first African American to win the women's all around finals. I'm now 19 and I live in Iowa. So why did you choose Gabby? I chose Gabby because I do a lot of gymnastics and I really like gymnastics. Hi, my name is Paul Revere. I was born December 21st, 1734 in Boston, Massachusetts. I had 11 brothers and sisters. My father was Paul Revere and my mother was Deborah Revere. When I was young, I went to infant school. I would learn to read and write. When I was seven, I went to North Riding School. Then I was taught to be a silversmith by my father. As a young man, I became a silversmith after my father died. I took over a silver shop. Soon I joined the war to fight the French. I was 21. I am most remembered for my midnight ride to warn the people of Lexington that the British were coming. I died on May 10th, 1818 at the age of 83. I didn't know who to choose and he seemed like an interesting person. Um, him like warning all those people that the, like, of Lexington and, and everything. And then he like saved them. Hi, my name is Deborah Sampson. I was born on December 17, 1760 in Plumpton, Massachusetts. I have three brothers and one sister. My father was dead from a shipwreck. My mother was sick and poor. When I was young, I lived, my mother was too sick to take care of me, so I lived my, with, with my cousin Fuller until she became ill and died. Then I moved in with Deacon Thomas and his family. As a young woman, I lived with an 80-year-old woman before I lived with Deacon Thomas. The 80-year-old woman's name was Mrs. Thatcher. I had to take care of her instead of her taking care of me. I am most remembered for being the very first woman to dress up like a man and join the Continental Army. I died on April 29, 1827 at the age of 67. Don't know. Hi, my name is Sacagawea. I was born on December 20th, 1789 in the Western Rocky Mountains. I have one brother and one sister. My father was the chief of the Shoshone tribe and my mother was the one who taught me how to play it. When I was young, I lived with my mother and my sister. I didn't live with my father because I, he was always with the Shoshone tribe. My brother was also with the Shoshone tribe. As a young woman, I joined the Shoshone with my father and my brother. I am most remembered for helping two travelers named Lewis and Clark speak to the Native Americans. I was also Lewis and Clark's guide to go over the mountains. Uh, I died on December 20th, 1812 at the age of 23 because she was, she, I just liked her and I liked her, how she, her, I liked her, um, how she like, Acted and I like how she made her clothes and I like Native Americans a lot. Hi, my name is Katy Perry. I was born on October 25th, 1984 in Santa Barbara, California. I was born with a David and one sister, Angela. My father was Keith Hudson and my mother was Mary Hudson. When I was young, I started to sing in my parents' church and I also learned how to play the dart too. But being a male child, I fought for my parents' attention by singing and dancing for them. 
As a young woman, I changed my last name to my mother's maiden name, which is Perry. Now my name is Katie Perry, but before I was Captain Elizabeth Hudson. I did that to avoid another American actor singer named Kate Hudson. I'm most remembered for my singing, dancing, and performing, I'm and I'm 29 years old. I'm also and I'm also on tour with Bruno Mars this year because I like how she sings. Hi, my name is Harry Houdini. I was born on March 24th, 1874, in Budapest, Hungary. I have four brothers. I have four brothers and one sister. My father was very snowy and wise. My mother was very wise. I, when I was young, I, I did not go to school because I dealt my family pay for my house. I also learned math and I started learning magic tricks. I moved from Wisconsin to New York. Uh, um, as a young man, I changed my name after my idol, Jean Eugene Robert Hooden. So I'm tying on tying knots. Let's go for walks and study them. I most remembered for doing amazing things like when I went in a crate, nailed it shut, put steel rubber bands around it, threw it into the water, and escaped. I died on October 31st, 1926 at the age of 52 from appendicitis. He's just cool. Hi, my name is Abigail McDonald's. I was born November 11th, 1744 in Weymouth, Massachusetts. I have one brother and two sisters. My father was William Smith and my mother was Elizabeth Smith. When I was young, I acted with Violet and my grandma said wild coats make the best horses. As I was sad, my brother was the only one in my family that could go to school. As a young woman, I learned how to make soap, candles, bed, puddings, and pumpkin pies. I also knew how to make, I also knew how to milk cows, how to turn butter, spin wool, weave cloth, knit pants, and stockings. I am most remember Freeman Liz, and as John Allen's wife, he was the second president of the United States of America. I died on October 28th, 1818, at the age of 73 years old. Um, because my grandma, she um, wanted to name me after her. Hi, my name is Henry Ford. I was born on July 30th, 1863, in Dearborn, Michigan. I had six brothers, six brothers and three sisters. My father was a farmer on the Ford farm, and my mother was also a farmer too. When I was young, I liked to fix broken watches and repay my neighbor's watches for free. I am most remembered for renting the Ford car, the first gas-powered motor, and the semi-line. I died on April 7th, 1947, at the age of 83, at the time of 11.40. I don't know. He invented the Ford car. Get my thing in. <laughs> yeah, my wig is super itchy. Oh. Hi, my name is Squanto. I was born in 1591 in the Patexa tribe. I live, I, I live with my mom and dad. I have no brothers, no sisters. I was, when I was young, I, I, um, when I was young, I hunted and played with my friends and my dad. But as a young man, I got, I got kidnapped twice. First England, second Spain. This is how I got, this is how I learned Spanish and English. I am also remembered for helping the Wampanoags and the Pilgrims come to peace. I also helped the Pilgrims plant crops and hunt animals. Because he's really interesting and and he's cool. He's cool and interesting. Hi, my name is John Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald Kennedy. I was born on May 29, 1917 in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. I have three brothers and five sisters. My father was Joseph Kennedy and my mother was Rose Kennedy. When I was young, I was sick most of the time. I was skinny and had problems with my back. I love to play football with my family. After I graduated from high school, I went to Harvard College. Then I joined the Navy to help my country in World War II. My ship exploded from water torpedoes. Luckily, I survived. I am most remembered because I ran for president against Richard Nixon and won. I was headed to give a speech in Dallas, Texas, November 22nd, 1963, when I was shot to death. I was 46 years old when I died. Because he was the, this is the name of the school, and I like John F. Kennedy. Hi, my name is Alexander Morgan, but my family and friends call me Alex or Baby Horse. I was born on July 2nd, 1989 in Dime Bar, California. I have two sisters. My father's name is Michael and my mother's name is Pam.
when I was a young when I was young, I had a dream to play for the U.S. women's national soccer team. I, as a young woman, I started to play soccer because I wanted to make new friends. I went to Diamond Bar High School and then to the University of California at Berkeley. I played soccer in college and was the highest scoring player all four years. At age 20, my dream came true. I was the youngest player to play for the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. I was on the Olympic team in London where we won a gold medal. I am most known for my achievements in the world of soccer. I am 25 years old and continue to play because I play soccer and I love playing. I love soccer. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Blackwell. I was born on February 3rd, 1821 in Bristol, England. I had four brothers and four sisters. My, mother's, my father's name was Samuel Blackwell and my mother's name was Hannah Blackwell. When I was young, my father moved the family to America on a ship called the Cosmo. I was on the ship for seven weeks before I got to New York. My father moved the family to Cincinnati, Ohio. Then my father died. I was homeschooled by two years. My sister and I became teachers to help support the family. As a young woman, I was a midwife. As a young woman, I was a midwife. I lost my life five because I was taking care of a sick child. I wanted to become a doctor, but no one allowed me because I was a woman. Because I was a woman. I was determined and found a way to become a doctor. I am most remembered for being the first woman doctor. I helped start the London School for Medicine for Women. I was a pioneer for medical education for women. I died on May 31st, 1910 at the age of 89. Um, because my mom's a doctor. Hi, my name is Jackie Robertson. I was born on January 1st, 1919 at a wooden shack near Cairo, Georgia. I have three brothers and one sister. My father's name was Jerry and my mother's name was Mel. When I was young, I was very poor. My father left the family, so my mother moved us to California. I got great and was a hard worker. My mother left the family, and as a young man, I started playing sports that included a ball. I became a great baseball player and signed a contract with the Brooklyn Dodgers. I am remembered for being a star with the Brooklyn Dodgers. I was voted most valuable player in 1949 and included into the Hall of Fame in 1962 and then died at the age of 53. I choose Jackie because I play baseball and I'm on the Brooklyn Dodge I'm on the Dodgers, so I and I thought it would be easier for me to just wear my uniform. <laughs> Hi, my name is Walt Disney. I was born December 5th, 1901 in a bedroom of a small college in Chicago. I had four brothers. My father was Eliza and my mother was Flora. When I was young, I did not start school until I was about seven. I had trouble paying attention in school. I drew pictures one different from the other that made them seem to move. I drew pictures for the local barbershop and got haircuts for free. As a young man, I bought myself a movie camera. Later, I moved to Hollywood, but I could not find a job, so I decided to open my own theater called Disney Brothers Studio. But later, the name got changed to Walt Disney Studios. I experienced a big obstacle when more than half of the Disney workers went on strike for about nine weeks. I am most remembered for making Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and opening Disneyland in California. I died December 15, 1966 at the age of 65, but I did not get to see the opening of Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Because I thought maybe, I was thinking of everyone I could, and my mom mentioned Walt Disney, so, and I was like, yeah, because I love Walt Disney movies so much, and then we did a, a lot of stuff for this. Yeah, we did a lot. I dug out all of this stuff, my mom did this for me, for this song. Hi, my name is Jane Goodall. I was born April 3rd, 1834 in London, England. I have one sister. My father was Mortimer and my mother was Mary. When I was young, my father got me a stuffed chimpanzee named Jubilee. I have dreams of living with animals. As a young woman, I got a letter, letter that changed my life. A, le a letter that changed my life. My old friend invited me to Africa. I studied chimpanzees in the jungle. I was able to go deeper into the jungle to learn about their behavior and how they lived. I, 
I spread the word to others that chimpanzees may be endangered of extinction and they need to be protected. I am still I'm I um, I am still alive and I'm 80 years old because I really like animals like her. Hi, my name is Babe Ruth. I was born on February 6, 1895 in Baltimore, Maryland. When I was young, I spent most days roaming the streets and barely had enough to eat. Finally, I went to live with my grandparents that loved me very much. And then I I didn't go to school until I was seven and a half, and I didn't. I never thought I was smart. As a young man, I played baseball. I was able to make a career out of it because I was so good at it. For 22 years, I, was, I played for the Red Sox, the Yankees, and the Braves. I was one of the first players to be elected into the Hall of Fame and scored 714 home runs during my career. I died of throat cancer at the age of 53. Well, I was very interesting in it. Hi, my name is Tom Brady. I was born August 3rd, 1977. I have three sisters. I, uh, my father is Tom Brady Sr. and my mother is Galen Brady. As a, uh, when I was young, I collected baseball cards and I loved to play golf with my father. I also had a newspaper. I started to play football when I was in ninth grade. As a young man, University of Montreal drafted me out of high school, but I decided to go to Michigan State instead. I didn't play much football until junior year of college. That's the year I set the record for most pass attempts, and I was voted captain of the team. I'm most known for playing football and especially being a great quarterback. I play for the New England Patriots, and I'm still alive at the age of 37 years old. I have three children, and I'm married to the supermodel, Giselle Binsho. Um, my favorite, he's my favorite quarterback, and um, I was going to choose Wes Welker, but um, I only like him because he's a good player. Hi, my name is David Crockett. I was born August 17, 1786 in Tennessee. I have five brothers and three sisters. My father's name was John Crockett and my mother's name was Rebecca Crockett. When I was young, I asked my father for a rifle. He gave me an old Kentucky rifle, but I, I could, he could only afford a bullet a day to hunt. I would only get to eat if I didn't miss. I was not very well educated. When I was older, I met and married Polly Fennell. We had three children. I joined the Tennessee Volunteer Mounted Regiment so I could protect my family. I liked the government, so I ran for Congress and won. Then in 1835, I lost the election. I was upset and moved my family to Texas. Texas belonged to Mexico, and so I was on to be free. I brought soldiers to the Alamo in San Antonio to fight to free Texas. Fortunately, we were outnumbered and killed by the Mexican army. I died on March 6, 1836, at age 50. Oh, no. Hi, my name is Betsy Ross. I was born on January 1st, 1752, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have one brother and eight sisters. My father's name is Sam and my mother's name is Rebecca. When I was a young girl, I was a Quaker. My family did not believe in fighting or war. I was not allowed to play cards, listen to music, or dance. As a young woman, I got married and had seven kids with my husband. Only five of my kids lived to be adults. Soon, General George Washington asked me to make the first American flag. I was honored to do that job for our country. I am most remembered for making the first American flag with 13 stars and 13 stripes. I died on January 30, 1836 at the age of 84. Um, I chose Betsy because I think it would be a good idea to do her because she did make our flag and um, if she didn't, we wouldn't have anything to pledge allegiance to or gives people that died in the war that served us, like my grandfather. He, um, he served in the Navy in World War II, so that's why I have this flag. Hi, my name is Elvis Presley. I was born January 8th, 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi. I had one brother who died at birth. My father was Vernon Presley and my mother was Gladys Presley. When I was young, I moved to Memphis, Tennessee. I wanted a bicycle, but my mother was poor, so she bought me a guitar instead. In 1953, I graduated from Humes High School. As a young man, I began to sing with song records. On March 24, 1958, I was drafted to the Army. I served for two years. I bought my house, Graceland, in 1967. I married Priscilla Wagner, and we had a daughter named Lisa Marie. I sold one billion records and was in 33 movies. I am most remembered from her music. I was the king of rock and roll. 
I died at Graceland in 1977. I was 42 years old. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because I, I know he's like the king of rock and roll, and he's like really famous, so I thought it was going to be fun to dress up like him. Hi, my name is Alan Keller. I was born on June 27, 1968 at D.H. Lona, 1880 at D.H. In Tuscumbia, Alabama, I have two brothers and one sister. My father was Arthur Keller, my mother was Kate Keller. When I was young, I was like any other girl. Then I had a high fever and got very, very sick. I got better but become blind and dead. I, got, I was so angry I didn't know how to cope. I was in a dark style of world until I met my teacher, Annie Sullivan. She taught me, she taught me how to do hand, hand signals and ways to identify things by touch. Later in my life, I was able to help people that were deaf and blind too. I am most remembered for overcoming the obstacle I faced in my life and being able to do the same thing that hearing, hearing people can do. I died on June 1st, 1968, IDH88. Um, I choose Helen for the first, look, I, I choose Helen because I first picked um, a singer, Carrie Perry, but then I, the teacher told us to look at their biographies and I saw Helen Kelly and then I, she got, I got interested in about her and then I wanted to pick her and then I, I'm her now. Hi, my name is Taylor Swift. I was born December 13th, 1989 in Reading, Pennsylvania. I have one younger brother and my father is Scott Swift and my mother is Andrea Swift. When I, my early childhood was spent in Pennsylvania. When I was 12 years old, a computer repairman came to my house to fix my computer and he saw my guitar in the corner of my room and he asked me if I played. I told him no, so he taught me a few chords and this inspired me to write songs. As a young woman, I received a record deal, Big Machine Records, and my first album, Taylor Swift, was released October 2006. Two years later, I recorded a second album called Fearless. And my, my third album, Speak Now, was released October of 2010. And my fourth album, Red, was released in December 2012. I am working on my fifth album now. I'm most remembered for my singing and songwriting, and I now live in Newport, Rhode Island, and my current age is 24. I don't know, I just thought that she would be good to do it because I've been listening to her music since I was really young, and, and I wanted to do her for the Wax Museum. Hi, my name is Tony Hawk. I was born on May 12, 1968 in Carlsbad, California. I have three brothers. My father is Frank Hawk and my mother is Nancy Hawk. When I was young, I played baseball and basketball. I got my first skateboard from my older brother, Steve. I loved skateboarding and did it, I mean, I loved skateboarding and did it as much as I could. In high school, I was put in advanced classes. When I was older, I had a son named Riley. Skateboarding became less popular and times got tough. Then the ESPN began to promote skateboarding and it was popular again. I am most remembered for being the best skateboarder in the world and performing the hardest trick known to skaters. I am still alive and I'm 46 years old. I chose Tony because I found lots of interesting facts about him. Hi, my name is Shirley Temple. I was born on April 23rd, 1928 in Santa Monica, California. I have two brothers. My father, George, was a high school dropout, and my mother, Gertrude, was a talented dancer. When I was young, I signed up for dance classes. When I was five, my parents signed a seven-year contract with Fox Studios. I started movies between ages five through ten. As a young woman, I found enjoyment in public service. I served as a delegate to President Nixon and later as an ambassador. I survived breast cancer and later spoke about it to help people going through the same thing. I most remember the little girl with curly hair who sang on the good ship, Lollipop. I died on February 10th, 2014 at the age of 85. Um, I chose Shirley Temple because I like, I was, I like being, an, I want to be an actress when I get older. Hi, my name is Scorzo. I was born on January 1st, 1585. I started my early life in Patuxent Village, Patuxent Village, and was and was part of the Wampanoag Nation. When I was young, I did not have a formal education. I did learn to speak English. I was captured by the English and sold to monks in Spain as a slave. 
I escaped and returned to North America. I showed the English at it. Build warm houses, hunt for me, and play across in New England. I am most remembered for helping the pilgrims survive in the new world. I didn't. I died of fever in 1622, but was never forgotten. Because, because nobody really likes Native Americans that much anymore, and, and people just don't really care anymore. So I try to make them get, like, remember what it felt like back in those years when they didn't have any electronics, like video games, and, and all those kind of things. They just had, they had to make everything out of their hands. It, it's not like you can't play anything or, any, or anything like that.